This episode of Snake Bites brought to you by Timberline, global suppliers of live food for your exotic pets. My name is Brian Barczyk, and along with my wife, Lori, we run one of the world's largest snake breeding facilities. With tens of thousands of snakes and a very colorful crew, there's never a dull moment. Working with animals is always unpredictable, and you never know what each day will bring. Welcome to my life and snake bites. Today's a big day for us here. We have Tun Jones from the Spike TV show Auction Hunter visiting. It's always really important when you have a high profile client to really impress them. It's not only important for BHB and our business, but also for the entire hobby. He has a big voice, and if we have a positive message coming from him, it can really change a lot of people's minds about reptiles. So much for security. Ton, what's going on, what's my going man? What's going on, brother? What are you doing? Uh, how you been, man? Great. How awesome. you been? Dude, good. I finally made it here. I know, man. How was your trip? It was cool. Awesome. Only a stolen rental car, but hey, we're good. <laughs> I'll keep the cops off. Are you ready to see some snakes, dude? I am. I, I want to see man. this place. All right, let's do this, man. All right, man. Welcome to the, the Holy lair, man. Hell. So, yeah, basically, this is my python room. This is, uh, you know, we got, uh, you know, all ball pythons on this side of the room, a few ball pythons over here, too, and then mainly, um, you know, got like carpet pythons. Mm. So I'm like, dude, I want to show you some of my big snakes, man. This like, is insane. Yeah, these are these are my monsters here, and uh, we've got some really good ones, you know, I mean, you know, like, like yeah, check this girl out. This is, this is my girl named Baby. She's really cool, man. She's like one of my big girls that I take to like, you know, like big educational shows and stuff like that. I mean, it's just kind of one of those impressive animals that's really, uh, really awesome. You've worked with big snakes. Oh before. yeah, quite a yeah. bit. Yeah, it's, what, you do berms or retics? Berms and retics. Okay. I've bred them both and rescued both. Okay, yeah, we've done some of that too. So again, you got Baby and Deborah, which are both pretty cool. She hisses a little bit, she'll strike at the cage sometimes, but she's not too bad, but this girl, is infamous. Her name is Satan. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> usually when the snake has a name like Satan or Diablo, there's a holy crap. Yeah, and you can Dude. see you can see her. <laughs> that is awesome. You ready to handle her or what? Dude, I'm all good. <laughs> Dude, I'm fat but not that agile. Holy crap. <laughs> Come on, girl. Don't be silly. She's actually just misunderstood a little bit. But we've actually had her in a bigger cage and she was actually more upset and more mean you can see she's recoiling on me usually i can get her if she just gets in a position where i don't have to dude <laughs> but i love this girl i'll be honest with you she's she's got such an attitude but she's one of my favorite snakes in my whole collection you know like i said here's some of my like big brettles girls and stuff like that oh you know? whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah it's a little bit they're not these are really tame dude it's just that you know, food, food response. Yeah, real food aggressive. Oh, so, <laughs> but yeah. Come here, baby. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing? I know, aren't they awesome, man? Oh, this I love the heads on these guys. I know, man. Those big heat pits. And these guys have such huge teeth too. You know, that's the yeah. That's the thing that uh. I've been bit by a few, and it's just, you can't pull back. You just sit there and wait for a credit card or wait for it to release. <laughs> exactly. I was down in Australia and got owned by a, a roughy python that was about this big. And, and I mean, it just like tore me up. I mean, it bit me probably 20 times. I mean, it, but I was so, I was so, so excited. Happy. I was just like, oh my gosh, it's a roughy python. So it was, uh, it was a blast, but. Beautiful. This is my new passion. I mean, I'm just like totally Dude. in love with these guys. And, and again, we just have these for educational shows and, and, uh, yeah. Come yes. here. What are you doing, Goober? <laughs> Look at that little guy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, these guys are awesome. I know, aren't they cool? I can't wait till they get like eight or ten foot, you know. But that one you've got right there, his name's RJ. And um, What's up, dude? it's like, it's really chill. I mean, you know, it, it, it's never actually tried to bite anyone. Some of these other rescues, these are all rescues. So um, a couple of these other ones are, are a little bit... Uh, a little more sketchy or dodgy, but you just want to go uh, play, huh? Things. You do a lot of rescue stuff. Oh, I mean, that's like your big thing, right? That's the biggest thing. I've rescued more gators than I can ever imagine. We've had in my biggest year was 86 gators. Holy cow! That's yeah. a lot of gators, man. Yeah, people don't. Again, you know, they're 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 an animal that look real cute when they're this big, but they're gonna get big, you know. And, and then they take fingers. Yeah, 
I, I love this guy. This is an albino clown. Oh my um, god. Yeah, I, I'm loving that animal. It's it's taken me actually. I, I produced uh, one about six years ago, and then I haven't produced one since. So uh, it's nice to finally have another one. It's you are beautiful. I know. I just love the clown stuff, anyways. You know, I know you, you you're into that. I know you want to do like clown pied stuff, right? That's that's my ultimate project. Yeah. The clown pied. This is actually uh, a killer kingspin. So it's a super pastel, lesser spider, dude. Pinstripe. Yeah, I was really happy with that. I mean, it just came out like super, super clean, and that is impressive. Yeah, and I think it's just the, um, you know, the powerhouse too. It's a, it's a boy, so what I can breed it to is just ridiculous. I mean, that get, is an impressive yeah. snake. It's kind of like a combination of all of the biggest powerhouse low-end codoms, you know, or doms. So uh, it's kind of cool, but um, that is lots more. This is. Uh, I love uh, Enchi stuff, you know, like anything Enchi to me is like ridiculous. So we hit like, you know, Enchi queen bees this oh, year. Oh, wow. Which are, you know, just really, again, really cool. That's kind a clean of, pattern. That's oh, yeah, it's just really, and, and the thing that's cool about Enchi stuff is it's typically when it gets bigger, it just gets better and better. Yeah, they're a little bit, a little bit feisty at that age. This is a, um, a tiger yes. spider. <laughs> Dude, oh my God. I know, that's one of my favorites this year too. It's um, again, it's a uh, it's an Enchi desert spider is what it is, and and that desert gene is what makes the kind of reduction. Well, the Enchi reduces the pattern, and then the desert stuff even cleans it up more, and it just makes it super bright. And what would something like this cost? You know, I think that they go for about about seven grand or so, sixty five hundred to seventy five hundred somewhere in that range. Um, but it's not for sale. So actually, I got to at least show you this project. This was one of my. My triumphs of the year. Um, this is uh, is actually a, a, a sunset ball python. So this came out of Africa like seven years ago, and uh, and we finally proved it recessive. About it's, a, it's about a month old now, and um, That's a sunset. Yeah, sunset. So it's brand new, and and you know we're just really excited about where we're going to go with that. But I had to. I can't show you ball pythons without at least showing you that project. What is the color, the, just the color fade from the belly over. It. Yeah, and you, and you think of that, that orange and reddish look to it, what it's going to do with albino and pied, I mean, it just goes down the list, so I'm, I'm really excited about it, but, um, but you know, again, you know, I'm, I'm a ball python nerd, but I, I don't want to show you just ball pythons, so let's, uh, let's move on to a cooler room that has colubrids, and that way we don't have to sweat so much. Yeah, these are all, you know, basically North American stuff, you know, there's a few Asian things in here, but uh, for the most part, corns, kings, milks, rats. So this is our, our big production house, you know, where we'll produce maybe, you know, 30,000 babies or something like that a year. I gotta show you this, dude, that you're, you're gonna freak out on these guys. Holy hell. <laughs> Check that out, dude, you gotta hold that. Oh finger. my God. Yeah, it's scaleless. Look at there. you. Isn't it bizarre? You are bitching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing? And I always tell people, like, it's the feel of them that's so bizarre. Cause, yeah. You know, you take that scale away, and, and, and it just is a completely different feel animal. And, and uh, people always ask if they shed. I mean, this is what their shed looks like. I mean, it's just kind of like a piece of skin or something, or a lizard skin or look something. Look at that. Yeah, I know, right? And look at the color that comes out underneath there. I know. It's, oh. It's bizarre when you strip those scales away, just how different the color and pattern is. And uh, other than that, they're just great animals. I mean, they're this they're is perfect. an impressive animal. Yeah, there's, uh, you know, I, when I first saw these animals coming out of France, I uh, I, I had to own them. So I mean, I, I, and trust me, I spent a boatload of money to get into that project. I mean, it was ridiculous. Yeah, but, this is not a cheap project. No, but it's worth it. You know, I mean, it's, it's good stuff. And we're starting to produce mutations now. You know, this year we should have some mutation, you know, scaleless corns for the first time. And some people, other people, have done it over in Europe. So it's uh, it's a pretty exciting time for the project. But. So this is my latest obsession. I've been going absolutely crazy. You know, I'm a snake guy, but bearded dragons have been kind of just like something I've been going nuts on. Um, I mean, they just have like tons Look of Look at these stuff. little guys. I know, little feisty guys too. They're, uh, I mean, we, the only thing that sucks about bearded is, I mean, we have, oh my God. Don't eat them, ton, they're too oh. expensive to eat. Hi, little dude. <laughs> these, guys are, <laughs> these guys are silky, oh. hypotranslucent, <laughs> hypotranslucent. You Isn't are bizarre? cool. <laughs> Isn't it bizarre? I, love, I just love these guys. And when these guys get bigger, they're gonna just be bright orange and, and amazing. So, I don't know, like I said, even though I'm a snake guy, the lizard thing has kinda got me peaked. Dude. I'm doing a bunch of le leopard geckos and the berries and some veil chameleons and stuff like that. But um, This is amazing. 
Yeah, it's it's super cool, and it's cool because the translucence you can see through all their guts, and and it's kind of kind of bizarre. You can well, see you're impacted today. Yeah, that's called lots of food. These guys are uh, are little they're little monsters. They're you cool. are bitching. Hey Chewy, what's up, man? Nothing. I'm running out of crickets. Can you call and order some crickets? Yeah, I'll call Timberline right now. Thank you. Yeah, Timberline. Yeah, I'm gonna need some. Can you hang on one second? Did you order these? Kind of. Wow, thanks guys. No problem. Chewy, I got crickets. Hey Nick, what's going on man? How are those leopard geckos doing? Oh man, they're doing great man. They're just chowing down on these mealworms. Did you say mealworms? By the way Brian, Timberline is your global supplier of live food for exotic animals. Here's your mealworms. Thanks, but uh, I'm gonna be honest, popping up everywhere is kind of creeping me out. Hey, we're just here to help. Oh, and by the way, you left the cap off your shampoo this morning. Oh, sweet, you got the crickets. Yes, sir, from Timberline's the only place I ever get my crickets from. It's the only place that sends me 5X shirts. There you go. Are we gonna feed so we can finally get out of here and go play? Let's do it. Cool. So far, the visit with Tun is going really well. Not only is he a really cool guy, but he's really excited about the animals. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is how him and Chewie are gonna get along. That's two big personalities. Not sure how that's gonna go. So this is where we keep Chewy. You know, this is all Chewy's room and all the baby snakes here. Wow. Hello, Tony Jones. Chewy. This isn't over. One, two, three, four, I declare war. That's my man. It's not over, Cupcake. Keep walking, Jones. Take your crew. Come on, Jim. Come on. Come on. Are you sure? One, two, three, 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 Do you see the board? Or is it? Two, 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 two. Yeah! You got, you got him, Chewie. Enough of your little games. Now for some man games. Off to the gun range. Let's do this. Let me get my shooting gear. I got this. Don't worry. I've been dealing with this. Wow. Can I go? Can you? <sighs> Ow! Hop up. Hold on. Dude, I have a special target sitting down range just for you. It's your all time idol, Sponge Beaver Square Pants. You know what? Say goodbye Let to your idol. Let me get your protection. Don't oh. shoot Sponge Beaver Square Pants. <laughs> what did you do to Sponge Beaver Square Pants? Check me. <laughs> Holy s. <laughs> Holy s. <laughs> 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 So, Tun came into my house. I beat him at thumb wrestling. I beat him at rock, paper, scissors. I beat him at, what else? At, oh, I beat him at uh, various other stuff. I think we played checkers. Um, I smell ribs. I do too. Should I go check that out? Yeah. Okay, how it went 
is we started with a little check. Then we went to a little dark. Todd, where are you going? I want to. Oh, what? I'm sorry, I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, oh, I remember. We started with the little thumb rest. I wanted thumb rest. Uh, uh. What's. Victory dance. Eat that one, Chewy. I won. <laughs>